Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield. Thank you so much for tuning into this broadcast today. I appreciate it very much. I want to talk to you about one of our president of the United States, one that I had a, have a great deal of respect for. His name was Abraham Lincoln, is the title of my message today. In the 1860s, Dr. Finus Gurley pastored the New York Avenue Presbyterian Church in our nation's capital for a time, and Pastor Gurley had a most unusual coveted member, and his name was Abraham Lincoln. How would it be like to be able to pastor a man like that, Abraham Lincoln? More and more, President Lincoln was drawn to this pastor and developed a friendship and a love for him and loved to speak with him and loved to talk with him at different times. As the clouds of civil war was gathering increasingly around Abraham Lincoln, he sought more of the friendship of this great clergyman, and he liked to attend the midweek prayer meetings by sitting on the other side of the glass top door with the door ajar. On nights when the president would be deeply disturbed by the horror of Americans having to fight fellow Americans, he would sometimes send a messenger to fetch Dr. Gurley. Later, Dr. Gurley would tell how the two of them would walk up and down the south port portico of the White House all during the night, talking and praying until dawn flushed pink in the eastern sky. Friends, I want to tell you that's what we need today is to talk to God and pray and ask God all the time to give us guidance in our nation. If there's ever a time we need prayer and we need guidance in the today in which we live. For here was a man, Abraham Lincoln, who was in a terrible dilemma. He believed that a nation divided against itself could not stand, and he also believed that the nation was worth saving. He loathed war and all of it and all the blood that was shed and just simply tore him to pieces. There was a lot of times that he went through a lot of deep, dark hours of depression. Yes, he did, and uh, I can understand why with all the battles of the Civil War like was going on, he had a hard time dealing with it, and there was a lot of prayer that went on behind it. Dr. Gurley said, after being near him for four years, I can affirm that God's guidance and mercy were the props that he humbly and habitually learned. If President Abraham Lincoln's own words was to humble ourselves, confess our national sins, and pray for clemency and pray for forgiveness. Dr. Gurley delivered his eulogy in the East Room when we know that Abraham Lincoln was assassinated in Ford Theater. I've been by that theater, very small theater, interesting thing to to go by, but an important event happened there. The President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, was assassinated for what he believed in. He said it was by President Lincoln's steady confidence in God that he would speak to us today. His message would cling to liberty and the right and the battle for them and to even bleed for them if need be, but most important to have faith in God. I want to tell you the most important thing that we can have in our life is to have faith in God and our relationship with God. God loves us all today. He loves us very much. He cares about you. I want to tell you our nation is in, in really dire need of prayer. We need a turning back to God. There's a lot of things that uh, I could talk about today, but I'll leave that to the Lord. God's, God's impending word is up on us today, and let us do the things that Dr. Abraham Lincoln, uh, Abraham Lincoln, our president, rather did. He always sought God, and sometimes he prayed all night, God, for this, for this nation, and pray for God's guidance. Uh, and thank God he even had to give his life for what he totally believed in. Thank God for men like that. May the Lord send presidents like that that pray and seek God like that. Thank you so much. This is Raymond Mayfield. Talk to you again soon.